Hey guys, I'm back. And the last part, we unlocked Shooter Rong's level 10 weapon. And now, we're gonna unlock another one. And the next one we're gonna get is you want Shouts. So, Musa mode is not required, so we're doing free mode. We gotta go to Guandu. Play the Battle of Guandu. Under you want Shao's forces. And obviously, as you want Shao. And I'll show off the fifth model, like always. Alright, here we go. So, we know the objectives. The equipment, the weapon, we have the Soto Honor at level 9, the items, the only thing I want to swap out is the 7 star sash, and I'll replace it with the Peacock Hearn. Why not, right? Anyways, uh, the bodyguards will leave it too, need the info, for Yuan Shao's forces, you have Yuan Shao, which is me, Gao Lan, Yuan Tan, and Zhu Shou, Yan Lian, Wen Chou, Chun Yu Xiang and Lu Wei Kuang, Zhang He, Yuan Shi and Guo Tu, Liu Bei and Zhang Fei, Yuan Shang, Xun Chang, and Han Mang. For Sao Sao's forces, you have Sao Sao, Chung Yu, and Jia Xu, Sao Ren, Sao Hong, and Man Chang, Zha Ho Dun, Xu Zhu, and Yu Jin, Zha Ho Yuan, and Guo Jia, Wan Yu, Yu Jin, Xun Yu, and Zhu Ling, Shun Yu, and that's it. That's a lot of fucking names there. Anyway, uh, let's do it. So, in order to get Yuan Shao's level 10 weapon, all you have to do is head over to Guandu. That way the uh, battering ram will appear, and make sure that battering ram does not get destroyed by any means. That's it. So what I'm going to do is go straight for Guan Yu, that way he won't cause problems later on. He'll go straight for Yan Liang, defeat Yan Liang. More than likely, he'll defeat Yan Liang. I'll be shocked if he doesn't. So, he'll defeat Yan Liang. Then he'll go straight for Wen Shou, defeat Wen Shou. Then after that, he'll continue on defeating people. And if he does, he'll aim for Yuan Shang, defeat Yuan Shang if he does. Uh, that is if Liu Bei hasn't approached Guan Yu yet. That was only a matter of time. Um, so, we'll just defeat Guan Yu now. That way he won't cause issues later on. But he is going to pull a fucking Dynasty Warriors 7 up in here. So he's going to go aim for Wen Cho. Uh, and he's not going to fucking stop. He's really going for it. Holy shit. He's really pulling a Dynasty Warrior 7 up in here. And no duel. Alright, Guan Yu's down. That was probably the hard part in this stage. Well, one of them. Since Mon Chong is right here, I'll defeat Mon Chong. And I'll definitely take that right here. Since I don't want Sal Ren to interfere as much, I will go and take over Bei Ma. Because whichever territory or whichever uh, fortress you take, Bei Ma or Yan Jin, the general under that particular fort, the other one, that general will retreat. So if I take over Bei Ma, Sal Ren will retreat. If I take over Yan Jin, Yu Jin will retreat. So let's take over uh, let's take over Bei Ma, that way Sao Ren will retreat. Look at Cao Cao flee with his tail between his legs. After them, show 
them the power of the Yuan family. And now we're going to head down, mind that dialogue there. Because that is a fake and it's a trap. So we'll go the other way. I'll go for Shuju since he's right here as well. So Shuju is down. I know the rest of them are actually going to be inside Guandu, so we won't be able to attack them just yet. However, since the catapult hasn't appeared yet, I'm going to take full advantage of that when I catapult uh, the ram. We're going to go and uh, aim for Lee Dien because he will try to take down the supply depot, Wu Chao, and he will pull a Dynasty Warrior 7, going straight for the fucking objective. That's what I'm referring to. If anyone doesn't know what I'm referring to, what I'm talking about. Basically what I consider Dynasty Warriors 7, someone going straight for the fucking objective and uh, not worry about anything else. And I really didn't take the bait there, it was just me trying to go after Lee Dian. I think I still need to take over the task leaders, we'll defeat them anyways. Yeah, because they're going to try to take over or destroy the supply depot. But now that we have done that, we should be fine now. Uh, what the fuck? down. That's another task leader down. I think that's all of them. Well, that should be all of them. Oh, missing one. And there you go. That's all of them. Yeah, I'm going to take my time heading over to Kwandu because uh, I need to make sure that uh, all the ram, oh yeah, all the rams get uh, stay intact. Because we're already defeated Lee Dien. Even though Chung Yu Shuang's health is very low, don't worry about it. They are strong, but do not falter. 
Alright, so I'm going to be here for a little bit because uh, I just need to make sure one show, not one show, but I need to make sure when I get the rams over here, over there, I don't have to worry about anything. Because everyone is heading over to uh, Yanjin. I'm not mistaken, when it comes to Guandu's walls falling, I believe I need to make sure the cutscene actually appears. Because if I'm not mistaken, there are three rams that will appear. And I need to make sure that I see the cutscene of the walls falling. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Alright, so far so good. Yeah, I should definitely secure that gate. Just in case if troops come out of there. Good, alright. Gate captain's down. Almost down. Oh, almost done, I should say. Alright, that's it. And now we'll head for, uh, Guandu, because like I said before, if I'm not mistaken, there are three rams that appear, and uh, I need to make sure that all the rams stay intact, because you could actually knock down Guandu's wall, but you won't knock down, you only chip it. Unless I'm thinking it's on the South South forces. We'll find out now. So, Wang Xiao has brought out his toy. We have to destroy them, or else. The ram must not 
be destroyed. Okay, so it's only one. So I'm thinking you want Shao's forces, okay. Yeah, that's right. It is you want Shao's forces. I mean South South's forces. But I remember I actually had to allow the walls to fall. And there are three different rams, and if they got destroyed, um, depending on how many rams are left, it only chip away at the wall or completely annihilate the wall. And I need to make sure the wall got completely annihilated. So if it's only one, that's very easy to pull off or defend. Definitely, let's take over. Let's defeat these crossbows, oh, archers, rat packs. Fucking rat packs. So far, so good. That'll help out a lot. Alright, where the fuck's the rat pack? There we go. And I can always defeat the guard captain to, uh... open up one do, but you know what, I'm not going to do that. I need the ram to get to knock down the walls. And let's not accidentally defeat the guard captain. So yeah, this is going to take a bit. The ram knocking down the wall, that is. That's going to take a bit. There we go. Got it. And there we go. Got the web. Well done. I praise you. You think you can stop Shaho, you won? We're definitely going to decline duels here because I already have the weapon and there's no need for me to actually accept any duels. I'll decline another one. And there we go. 
So all I have to do now is complete the stage. Let's not get clobbered by three people and they have very little health. You know how frustrating that would be? Alright, Jaho Dune's down. Of course, right into a fucking Musu attack. Chung Yu is down. Shaho Yuan is down. I think. Yeah, Sao Sao is the only one that's left. And since his morale is at nothing, I don't think there's real, any point for me to defeat Josh Yu. So I'll go for Sao Sao right now. And uh, end it. And that's a win. Alright, another one down. And I still have two more to go for the other forces. But I also have the five edits. So, I'm just saying. So it took us 19 minutes and 19 seconds. That actually took us a little bit longer than I thought. Or I believe it should have been. But that's fine. Items, I doubt we got anything good. Nothing. Okay, okay, counts 373. Avoid the opponent count was 11. Uh, points, we should be around four or five thousand. Maybe more, it all depends. Alright, six thousand thirty five points. Not that it matters because not only you want Shao's rank is at max, but we got you want Shao's points at max. Because the highest amount of points you can get with any character is 99,999 points. I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, correct me wrong, or correct me if I am wrong, there's real no value in getting every character's points to max this time. Because if you remember in Dynasty Warriors 3, if you did that, you would, that's one of the requirements to get a third alternate costume with some shang -Xiang. Here, I don't think there is any point in maxing out all the points. No pun intended. But anyways, uh, the item, oh, the weapon. Here it is, a level 10 weapon. The Sword of Kings has an attack power of 53. And just like any other level 10 weapon, if you have a elemental orb equipped, you can use it even if your Musu gauge isn't filled up all the way. Anyway. The bodyguards, as you know. I can give two shits, we'll save, and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, Fusion Dynasty Warriors 4, 
and I will see you in the next part. We'll go and unlock another level 10 weapon. And the next one we're going to get is Dong Zhuo's. So, peace out.